We have always been fascinated by the idea of parallel universes in alternate history, whether it be out of curiosity about what the world would be like had something different happened, or perhaps what you would be like had something not happened. So could you go back and change history, and is there somewhere where history has already been changed? Now, this video is going to be a bit more thinky-thinky, because normally in science, when you get a hypothesis, you can go out and test it to see if it works or not. However, in the case of something like the multiverse theory or something like that, how the hell are you supposed to test that? Basically, what I'm saying here is that this video is going to be a bit less definitive than most of my other videos, and will go more into how we think parallel universes could work according to the many worlds theory. Basically, that was just me covering my ass for not being a quantum physicist. Please don't kill me, guys. Either way, fiction certainly has some good examples of alternate realities, from the Man in a High Castle to Star Trek. In Star Trek, there are multiple parallel universes all tangled together, but the most popular alternate universe is the Mirror Universe, where humanity establishes a violent empire instead of a peaceful federation, and also Spock grows a beard for some reason. In the Prime Universe, on the 5th of April 2063, Zephram Cochran tests out a ship, the Phoenix, Earth's first warp ship. This catches the attention of a Vulcan ship passing through the Sol system, and they land on Earth and initiate first contact. In this case, the universe is split right at this second, where, instead of reaching his hand out to shake the Vulcan's hand, Dr. Cochran instead reaches for the gun in his jacket, and the humans raid the Vulcan ship. Now, this isn't necessarily a change in the timeline, but a split of two different timelines. Well, not counting with these guys. Right after Dr. Cochran struggles to make the Vulcan salute, or to all if you want to be the no, two universes are effectively created right at once. This theory of parallel universes, the many worlds theory, essentially states that whenever something could go more than one way, multiple universes are created out of each of the possibilities. Yeah, that totally doesn't make me sound like a complete conspiracy theorist. This is best illustrated in experiments like quantum suicide, where a bomb is hooked up to a detector measuring the spin of a proton, which can go either way. For the sake of explanation, the odds of the bomb going off are 50-50, so if you go through a few rounds and survive through all of them, the many worlds theory states that this is because you just went down a line of all the universes where you survived. After all, you can't necessarily go down all the ones you were already dead, right? Your friends could, but who cares about them? This could even lead to a way to travel to another universe, creating one through the many worlds theory. Now, you won't be able to get there on a spaceship, but if you could travel to the past, shut up physics, then you could engineer a different outcome of a certain event or decision. The real question is, however, what would you do? Let's say you only wanted to fix a small but impactful mistake you made in your life. So you go back in time to tell yourself not to buy those new nail clippers which you bought only to find the pair you thought you lost right after using them because you can't refund used nail clippers even if they cost you 9 euros! Who charges 9 euros for nail clippers? Do I know you? Okay, so assuming I'm not seen as some raging lunatic by my past self, I saved that 9 euros, but having already had that information, I wouldn't have needed it which means that I wouldn't have needed to travel back in time to tell myself to save those 9 euros. This is basically a less deadly version of the grandfather paradox. Basically, the only way for the universe not to go crazy is to split off into separate timelines, at least for everything to make sense. But what happens to you when you get back to your time? If you're now permanently in another universe where you just interacted with yourself, you now have to deal with the fact that there's two of you. And that isn't always easy to deal with, at least not at first. Exactly! If you were to change history in this way, it would probably be more like going backwards on a railroad track, switching to another direction and going back along your merry way. You're most likely not going back onto the original section of track. So it's more like a one-way ticket unless you want to undo that scenario to go back. Come on, it's been years since this thing has worked. Surprisingly, another potentially good way to illustrate how parallel universes would work is with video games, like Minecraft. The channel Spumlack has made much better videos on this subject, but every new world you make in Minecraft, or other games like Kerbal Space Program, is like its own parallel universe in its own sense. This is probably better illustrated with KSP, where no matter how many times someone strands Jebediah Kerman on the surface of Duna, someone else's save will always have Jeb ready and fit for service. But the new Jeb can never go and see the old Jeb, no matter how far he flies. In a sense, we are all given the exact same situation, or three I guess, and whatever you decide to do with that save splits it off from all the rest. Similarly, if you were to copy a Minecraft world or a Kerbal Space Program save, and alter one of them in some way, usually involving explosions, then you've effectively created your own alternate history scenario. Two timelines have been split from each other. Just imagine this happening with every single decision you make in the game. Yeah, you would need a supercomputer for that. But who says our universe isn't on a supercomputer somewhere? There's also one other example of parallel universes. 
the Mandela Effect. <sighs> no. Just... why? That's not parallel universes. That's just people being too stuck up to admit that they're bad at remembering things properly. Now, I didn't really tackle the problem of if parallel universes could exist or not. I just went on and assumed they did, or at least could, for the sake of simplicity. If you want to see this argument from the perspective of a more primarily science-based channel, go and check out the Scienceverse to learn all about the fun science that goes into determining whether or not parallel universes even exist in the first place. While you're at it, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Canubis to learn something new every Sunday. Also, be sure to join the Canubis Discord server for more discussions on this sort of stuff. And show your support on Patreon if you can. Oh, and follow my Twitter. See you on Sunday.